What is up dudes and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. As you guys can see down below in the title, we are going to be cooking, well, smoking some lake trout today. Quick disclaimer, this is my first time ever smoking lake trout before, so this could go really good or it could go really bad. Look out, Kevin. First things first, we gotta turn on the Traeger. Second step, dudes. We gotta set the Traeger to about 180. Ignite the Traeger. In case you guys were wondering, I definitely got my new table installed and it's freaking awesome. All right, dudes, while the Traeger is heating up, I've actually already had these lake trout in a brine for about 48 hours now. So before we go any further, dudes, really quick, I'm gonna show you what, what I did to brine these lake trout. First things first, we're gonna need my cutting board. Oops. Next, obviously, we need lake trout if we're gonna be smoking lake trout. I need to cut these open. Next, we're gonna be rinsing our fillets just to get all the goop off of them and all that. Next, we're just gonna grab some paper towel and we're just gonna pat these suckers dry just to get all the water off of them. Next, we need a bowl, a big bowl, a big blue bowl. Brown sugar. Regular sugar. God dang it, Kevin. One, two, three, about four scoops of brown sugar. Grab our regular sugar and one, two, and about one quarter cup of salt. Now I'm just gonna mix this up. Honestly, this feels awesome. Wash my hands quick, don't wanna cross contaminate. Contaminate? Now I'm gonna cut this big chunk in half because it's a little bit too big. Moving workstations. And you're gonna be needing a big old Tupperware to hold all these fish. Something airtight too. For this first one, I'm just gonna grab a little scoop of brown sugar and I'm just gonna lightly kind of dust this on here because I don't really know what I'm doing. And I'm gonna lay this in skin side down. For the first one, skin side down. For this next one, I'm using a little bit more and I'm patting it in a lot harder. And meat to meat, you don't want skin to meat. For this one, I'm gonna use a little bit more and once again, I'm just gonna kinda trickle it around with my fingers. And skin to skin, never meat to skin. Remember that, write that down. For this big piece, I'm gonna use a whole bunch of brown sugar, the most I've ever used yet. And meat to meat. Not sure if I'm supposed to do this, but it seems right. Wash my hands, no cross contamination. Just gonna slam this on here really quick. And into the fridge she goes for approximately 48 hours. What do you know, it's been 48 hours. Look at this, dudes. Ooh, that looks super soupy. All right, dudes, next step, I have to rinse these off a little bit. I should have brought the camera outside with me. I'm actually about to do this right now. Quick delay in the video. As you can see, I am soaking wet because I just turned my faucet on. It wasn't working, as you've seen. And I'm, I'm really mad I didn't bring the camera outside with me. Like, I am soaked, dudes. Okay, here's my pump house for my house. I come out here and open this up. This burst off of this, as you can see, it's soaked in here now. This bursted off of this and was just spraying water absolutely everywhere. So I had to hop in there, go inside, grab a freaking uh, screwdriver really quick and tighten that back on there. So yeah, I, I think I fixed it, hopefully. I'm about to go turn the faucet on and see, but that was intense. There's a bunch of like electrical stuff in there too. So I was like trying not to get electrocuted and there's water literally spraying everywhere. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> Holy buckets, dudes. That was freaking intense. Okay, so the next step of this process, I just gotta rinse off these fish a little bit and then I'm gonna like pat them dry with paper towels, but I'll show you guys. Here's the screwdriver I used. So after 48 hours, also dudes, I didn't show this process, but I did, I flipped this container so that this top piece got some, some liquid action too. I flipped the container for like 12 hours or something and then I flipped it back. 
This piece looks so freaking good. Oh my god. Alright dudes, all I'm gonna do now is just take a paper towel and pat these things dry. After you pat them dry, they should look something like this. Alright dudes, next step. God, this new table is freaking awesome. Hopefully you guys can even see me. I'm gonna open up the Traeger. The Traeger is fully preheated at 180 and I'm just going to be throwing on these flays. Oh, no, <laughs> no. All right, and now I'm gonna close this. And this whole process takes, takes like four hours, but I'm actually gonna be opening it up like every hour or so to check it, and I do have to add uh, one more thing after about two hours, so yeah, that's basically it. I think the hardest part about this whole process is briming the, the trout. I hope I got the brime right. And holy buckets, this thing is just a smoking already. Holy crap, that's awesome. It smells so good. So you guys know I usually like to keep my videos at like 10 minutes long just because I want to keep you guys entertained. And uh, if I just smoke fish in this video, it'll only be like a three three to five minute video. So really quick dudes, I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I've been doing the past week. I've just been kind of chilling out. If you guys watched the last video, uh, yeah, I'm kind of just in a funk right now. But if you guys haven't seen last video, I strongly recommend go and check it out. It's a really good video and it took me a really long time to edit. But anyways, I've just been kind of chilling out and hanging out with some friends and we did some pretty cool stuff the past week. So uh, first off, I'm gonna show you guys, me and my buddy Morgan went to the gun range and we shot some guns. Alright dudes, that's enough of the gun range. Really quick, we're gonna open this up. It has been two hours. We're just gonna grab some dollar store honey here. And, I'm just gonna put a little bit on each filet. Not a whole bunch, just a little just a little bit for some taste. Holy buckets, is that gonna be good. Before I show you guys this next part of this video, um, quick disclaimer, this was 100% not my idea. This was Brandon's idea, and uh, it was pretty crazy, but we had a lot of fun doing it, so yeah. Don't try this at home, and I hope you enjoy the next, the next couple clips. So trust me, I'm testing. We'll be able to fix that. I'm saying you don't wipe some. <laughs> No! Just no. Just, no. Straight. Straight. Just go straight Just down. I'm not that good at straight question. lines. Well, this, okay. you, strip it. you need ink. I know, I'm practicing. Not on my leg. Murray, at the end of the day, as long as you get it all outlined, you can go back and try to fix it. You can't twitch like that. Oh, really? <laughs> it's not a tender spot. Okay. It looks good by the thickness of the ink. <laughs> you better do that other foot before you lose it. <laughs> Good ink one? that shit up. Huh? Ink it up. What's that mean? Put ink on it. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> getting one. <laughs> Just in case you guys are wondering, it turned out pretty good. If you guys want to see more clips from this night, uh, you guys can probably head over to Random Brennan 69's channel. Not 100% if he posted it yet, but if not, just go subscribe and when he does post it, you'll get a notification. All right, dudes, this lake trout has been on the Traeger for approximately four hours now, so I think it's time to open it up, and I think it's done. Oh yeah, it's looking really good, too. I'm just gonna pull it off, put it on this piece of wood, and uh, yeah, we just have to wait for it to cool down, then we can eat it. All right, dudes, we've had this cooling down for probably about 20 minutes now. It's still a little bit warm, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna crack into it and uh, see if it tastes good or not. If I'm not mistaking, this is the very bottom piece. Oh my God. That is looking pretty good inside. Nice and white. Remember this is lake trout, so it's not like really pink trout. I'm just gonna take a bite. Oh, 
is so freaking good. It's bomb. Like, straight bomb. Mmm. Oh my god. I am like so freaking surprised. This is like as good as what you get at the store. I'm not even making this up. Like, holy crap. I can't believe I made something so good. Tastes like candy. I 100% highly, highly, highly recommend trying this. All I used was brown sugar, sugar, and a little bit of salt, and a little bit of honey. Like, no fooling, dudes. This is bomb. This is absolutely bomb. I think we're gonna end this here, but I am probably off camera gonna go house that entire piece of trout because it's so freaking good. My mouth's watering right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed making it. Uh, I, I'm really pumped at how good this trout turned out. And yeah, I just kind of really like making cooking videos. It's really fun. Really quick, if there's something you guys would like to see me cook on the Traeger, uh, drop down in the comments and let me know because I'd love to. I'd love to make it. Just make sure you don't comment like tomahawk steak or something. A lot of you guys have been doing that and I cannot afford tomahawk steak so if you guys have anything cheap you want me to smoke let me know without further ado dudes I think that's gonna do it I think uh yeah all it's left to say watch our first one more bye